What is going on YouTube? It's Sank, we are back with another one. Alright guys, that wraps up another day in these markets. Now to get you guys ready for the very last trading session of the week, I want to regroup with you on this one, because on this drops agenda, I want to talk about one of our current plays in our portfolio and bring you guys a brand spanking new play to make entry on that will be one of your winning plays as we move through the year. So as always, get yourself ready for another action packed one. Before I jump into it, I'm going to need you guys to go crazy on that like button for me. Now it's been a very successful week for tons of our plays in the portfolio from a Macy's to a Wells Fargo to our star performer that's Nucor up almost 25% on the week that I know you guys are making bank on but I want to regroup with you guys with one of our fallen soldiers ticker symbol GRWG that's grow generation because I want to let you guys know how we're going to make heaps of money on this play but first up let me give you guys a picture of why this one might be dropping on the day now firstly if we talk about their earnings revenues they smash targets no problem Earnings per share clocked in 11 cent versus targets of 12 cent. So as you guys can see, this is only a one cent difference. So no way should that cause an almost 20% drop in that stock price. That's not how it works. We don't just get into plays for them to beat analyst estimates. And you guys got to realize analyst estimates themselves might be off the mark. Take a Disney, for example, in their last quarter, the analyst estimated way too high. Disney couldn't hit those numbers and it hit volatility over the quarter. But tonight, you see, those of you guys have been keeping up, came out with their numbers, analyst estimates were more on the ball. Now Disney is popping off in after hours. So that's something for you guys to take into consideration. Now, secondly, we know the sentiment around the industry for the market isn't high. Plays like High Tide in the same industry, they're not able to move like they should be because of low sentiment. Okay, so this is keeping these plays down at the moment. Now, sentiment is high in our other areas in the market that we're in, like the steel industry. That's why new course popping off. All of our retail apparel plays, like a Macy's, a DKS, they're all moving well, Under Armour as well, and the financial sector are plays like Wells Fargo. So sentiment also matters. So when you see that rotation, that interest back into the sector, that's when the play will start to get moving again, okay? It's not always been that the market has been interested in the steel, steel space. 18 months ago, the steel space wasn't a hot area in the market, but now it is. So market sentiment does matter. Now, another reason why that stock might be down in the day is analysts. An analyst came out and said that management have said that growth is slowing. Okay, now, let me break this down for you guys. They have increased their guidance. It used to be 150 million that they were targeting for full year sales this year. Now they've increased that to around 175 million. So the play is still growing fast. They might slow down, that's fine. Doesn't mean they're not growing. They're still accumulating retail outlets, still showing that great level of momentum. So in conclusion, guys, this is what we call a market overreaction. And we are gonna capitalize on this. And as I say, make heaps of money down the line. Okay. Now check this out. We've seen this one drop down to $35 a day. And what you guys wanna know is that's a key line of support for this play that we've seen over the last couple of months. And you guys know the last few months have been testing for these growth plays and they've managed to bounce off that mark, no problem. But if we continue to see downwards pressure, they could break through that key support and they could trend down to the very low 30s, that's 30, $31. So the move of the play is to ease in at these types of levels. You guys know when we get a price point on a play that we like, we snap up that opportunity because we, we can't time these markets. But just make sure that you guys have firepower on the sidelines, ready to deploy if those cheaper prices emerge, that's the 30, $31, okay? So that's the move of the play. You guys know, regardless of the situation in these markets, we always have a plan to win. Now you guys know on the channel, I'll give you those short-term plays, I'll give you the medium term and the longer term opportunities as well. A few of you have been asking me for a long-term play, so I've got you on this one. Ticker symbol KKR, this is one I wanna to bring to attention. This is one with a very resilient business model. They focus on business turnarounds. So picking assets up on the cheap, repositioning them, selling them for higher profits, okay? So the business is just firing on all cylinders all around the clock. When the market's on a downturn, they're acquiring assets. When the market's on the upturn, they're selling out, making bank, okay? So this is one I wanna make sure that you guys get in your portfolios, give you that firepower moving forward. And over the next couple of quarters, economy is doing well, so I'm expecting this one to go from strength to strength. On any weakness in this stock price, make sure that you guys are buying any lows, any dips, any pullbacks in this one, because it is a temporary fixture. 
I guess those are the players I got from this one and the moves to make with. So to round this one off, I want to touch on ticker symbol S-O-N-O, -O, that's Sonos, one of our players in the portfolio, one of our movers today up 8%. Now I'm just bringing this to your attention just to say that you guys got to know your plays, all right? So check this out. This one was in full consolidation mode since May, i.e. trading sideways, okay? So we saw this one bouncing around the low 30s. $32, $33, back to $32, right? Looks like the stock can't make up their mind, but behind the scenes, the play is firing on all cylinders. I knew that, that's why over the last couple of months I've been trying to get you guys into this one. So shout out those of you who are in the play. Today's movement up, they're pretty much breaking out of consolidation. Now, what you guys wanna know is, when a company comes out with good earnings, but the market isn't on a broad base good day, we know the market started red, then made a recovery what it does it dampens the effect of those earnings okay so over the next couple of sessions i expect this one to continue its rise over the next couple of weeks breaking into the 40s and fully rewarding my investors who got into this one okay but this is just a pattern that you guys will spot time and time again in these markets this play is trading sideways but the business is growing from strength to strength that's a golden opportunity to make heaps of money in the market same thing with disney that's a play consolidating trading sideways told you guys get into that one now they announced good earnings the street was impressed as i say now that one is too popping off into after hours both of these stock price patterns if you look at them pretty much identical guys so when you guys just continue to just identify this spot it in the market use it on repeat to continuously build wealth in these markets all right guys so that wraps up for this one if you've got any questions for me drop them down below and i get back to you on your way out make sure you guys are lighting up that comment section for me join the movement if you're new and i catch you guys on the next one Thank you.